Now this one, I guarantee you, will get you into your dream school. Girls can never say they want it. Girls can never say they need it. Girls can never say they want it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Brienne, and my channel is all about beauty, fashion, and discovery. If you want to see more content from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. And when I say right now, I mean right now down below. Click that red button, okay? Period. <laughs> so, anyways, besides all the periods and all the okays, this video is all about how to get that degree and how to get that degree is by going to your dream college so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get into your dream college without further ado let's start with number one my number one way to get into your dream college would definitely be to do early action early action is your best friend why you might ask because a lot of people are not doing early action because a lot of people are very last minute Lord knows when I became, when I started my senior year of high school, my, basically my entire class did not like apply to any colleges yet, but I did. And you know, that's how you stand out. You want to be one of the first because there's a lot less competition. So that's why I decided to do that. Um, I learned from my mom and my sister from prior experiences. So just, you just want to make sure that you're first on the list there's not a lot of competition um because that doesn't mean that you're not a bright student but a lot of students are smart students or may have similar grades to you so you just want to be able to get ahead of the game and know that you got in before people that are very similar to you or better than you academically um get that application in so you want to be number one so that is my rule number one and i just looked into the camera and i was like dang i look like my sister right now and it is grossing me out <laughs> number two so I am very old now, like it's crazy. I've not done um, any college stuff, like getting into college for I think two years now. I last time I did was in 2017. But from my experience and what I think will help you to stand out the most, I will tell you when it comes to picking an essay, and I'm sure they saw this option because I'm not that old, like I'm only a sophomore in college now, um, do the personal essay choice. Why do I say this? I feel like if you choose like something that is really important to you or something that made you who you are, that is far more interesting than just a generic like, oh, I have straight A's and B's and I did this and I did that and blah, blah, blah. The best way to get into a college is to stand out. So if your journey is very special or you have like a way of how you got to where you are today and you want to express that I would definitely say do that in the essay the essay is very important because they want to see your writing skills and they want to know a little bit more about you since they don't know your face and they can't put a name to it at all and another tip I would give you is to personalize that essay as well I know my sister when she did her essay she submitted pictures with the essay I'm not sure if you could still do that because she graduated I mean she applied for colleges in like 2014 but if you could personalize it a bit you should definitely do that so they think it put a name to the face put the face wait yeah put a name put a face to the name okay <laughs> and you could stand out even more because it's all about standing out when it comes to getting to college and not just any college your dream college number three keep those grades maintained a lot of people decide to slack off when they get into their senior year your grades need to be maintained because they still do track you and watch you so say you decide to slack off during your first semester is it you guys do try whether you do trimesters or semesters of high school and they see that your grades are not up to par they're gonna be like whoa like i'm not gonna accept this kid because you were just getting the grades that you were getting previously to get into this school and you're not gonna hold their um, university to a high standard because in all that's what they want your money to, but they want you to make their school look good by getting amazing grades, getting great internships, getting an amazing job so they could brag about you after you graduate. So that is what you're gonna wanna do. Just keep those grades up, whether a subject is hard or not. Say you even have a hard subject, like for me, uh, pre-calc was difficult. Um, express that in your essay as well. That's another tip back to number tip number two express like anything that may not look appealing give an explanation to it because it may be helpful when it comes to you getting accepted into that school and number four now this one i guarantee you will get you into your dream school so ding 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 here we go <laughs> this one is the most valuable 
way to get into your dream college. I promise you this and I promise you that it will work, okay? Don't hold me accountable. <laughs> but this is what worked for me, I honestly believe. Stay in contact with that college admission counselor you want to stay in contact with them so say you know who the college admission counselor is i'm sure you can see on their website just constantly not constantly but email them say let them know you just applied or you can email them and wish them like happy holidays like whatever holiday is coming up at that time because you won't like really get um a answer whether you got accepted to school until november or december you could wish them a happy holidays you could say oh happy thanksgiving send them out a message just Say like generic things, don't be too annoying because when you're too annoying, they may think that you're just messaging them to get into the school, which you are, and I'm sure that they have an understanding of that, but don't be so blatant. Um, that's what helped me to get into my school, Loyola, and I feel like that really helped me just knowing my admissions counselor and getting to know him. We've had phone calls and everything, and I think that was a big part of me getting into Loyola. So I would definitely say contact that admissions counselor do what you gotta do to get into that school, boo, okay? Because this is your dream college. This is where you wanna go and you know that it's gonna feel great when you get that acceptance letter in the mail or through your email. <laughs> so I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all these tips help you get into your dream college. It is around that time where it's time to apply to those schools. So make sure you are doing your essay right now. You're doing your early action. Let's get it so we can all get into school and get a valuable and amazing education, whether your school is at Loyola and you come see me, or whether your school is anywhere else. Make sure you do all the necessary tools to get into that school and try your hardest. And I'm just gonna let you guys know, if you don't get into your dream college, that is okay. I'm sure you have plenty of other options. Don't let that get you down. A school is a school and you it's what you make of it. So don't let any like denied letters get you down. But I'm wishing all you guys the best of luck when it comes to applying to schools. So without further ado, please comment down below what are some tips that you guys may have to get into college or how you got into college if you got into college in a special way anything that i did not cover do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and join the tony brian gang i have to find a name for you guys but yes i love you all so very much and i will see you all and i know i will see you all in my next video love you guys bye <laughs>